My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Whoa. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Ooh, girl. Ooh, this is such a tap. Uh, uh, damn, can I think? Accept, refuse, I don't know. A, I... Ah. y'all welcome on back to the channel you are here for episode four of life is strange now where we left off in the last episode you know max wanted to play around with that butterfly effect a little bit and i always say i said in the last video i just feel like if you have the power to go back in time and change things you shouldn't because look at where we left off okay but with that being said y'all make sure you're subscribed up to the channel make sure you hit the like button because i know you're gonna like the video leave a comment down below all the things and with that being said let's face all the consequences of our actions at this point life is strange y'all here we go why does it look like the water has an oil slick in it i'm sure it's just the art style but i had questions i don't know Oh, also at the end of the last episode, there were whales on the beach. Big ass whales. Is that one? Big old whales just hanging out on the beach. The town is cooked, I fear. Uh, look, they still there. But also, how does that work though? Like who, who puts a whale back in the ocean? It's not like you just gonna push a whale. I feel like you gotta call some people in for that. Damn, it's a lot of them. dark room yes <laughs> i couldn't remember oh so we are with i mean yeah because we do need some answers as to what went down It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Girl, what happened? It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. Mm. You deserve the best stationery. Mm, that's nice. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. That's so. Like the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What if photographers called up? It's the golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Of the whales? Are we not panning? are so sad. Okay, thank you. I kind of know how they feel. Oh. At least I'm alive here with you. Oh. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. Mm. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Damn, so you got in a car accident? Is that... Okay, wait. Talk about accident. Blame William. You always looking to blame your daddy. That feels so wrong. Okay, maybe we could touch on the accident if you're, if you're comfortable. I don't want to force it out of you. Are you okay to talk about the accident? But I do want to know. actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Damn. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Ooh. 
When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Oh. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel? What missing girl? Oh, okay. Maybe she doesn't know. Why would she know Rachel? Because now the timelines, now we're in the multiverse of things and like her and Rachel aren't friends. Um, you mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about mm. her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Okay. Uh, it might be, you think? Don't say that. Bitch, <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. That's I'd nice. like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. Mm. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Oh, that's Hanging nice Hanging out too. with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. Mm. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. You yeah. hate hella? None taken. That's crazy. Mm. It's funny because Chloe did say hella a lot, but like hella is not a, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm from California. Like hella is a California thing, I feel like. But they live in like, where? Washington, Oregon or something? Maybe it's a West Coast thing. I don't know. But now you hate hella? Oh, okay. It's just when Chloe says it, it annoys me. But like, I still say hella in my day to day life. Well, whatever, whatever. <laughs> the girls, I get it, get it. I don't know, whatever. Oh, it's a pretty high tech lair. Damn, the wind like is whipping. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Mm. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Oh, I forgot to turn the sound up. My Pathetic. bad. Pathetic. <laughs> I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Oh. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. Oof. I can't even imagine. Oof. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Not uh, your drink can on. You, can you bring me some water? Damn, and I hate to ask, and I don't want to sound ridiculous, but <laughs> what is the better timeline here? Cause this is sad y'all Th this is this is really sad and i hate to be all up in your business but unfortunately this is the name of the game real quick before i get you some water let me just see what you're doing on your myspace just just real chloe quick, is still a punk at heart but she can't stage dive anymore why would you say that max we know that it's so on. cool that chloe has made friends online i know she she better not be in them chat rooms showing Oh, Hot Wheels chat room. Hot Wheels chat room. Oh. Oh, man. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. That's nice. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Oh, that's nice. Your parents' name are... Your parents' names are Ryan and Vanessa? Hmm, interesting. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know if I'm here. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better. I hope to see you again. Megan! I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe just saw... 
I drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you're well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. That is a terrible little ma uh, note, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. It's not a terrible note, but like, damn. Yeah, I ain't been around, but that'll all change soon. You sound like somebody's dad who went to go get some milk, Max. Like, you <laughs> you could have did a little better than that, I fear. Okay, I'm sorry. You over here choking on spit. I owed you a little cup of water. My fault. Drink up, buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? Podcast? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Oh. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. Mm -hmm. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. You're right. What do you remember? Seems like yesterday. I mean, technically, it does seem like yesterday because it to was. Me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh, my God. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? <laughs> Max, that is mean and nasty. You have me. You have, you me. have me. What friends? I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Oh, that's well, nasty. You didn't visit me a lot either. Oh. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. Damn. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super Max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. Thank you, because I don't That's what my parents are for. Oh. Are you lonely? Are they okay? They love you? I'm sure they love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. Mm. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Who's speeding on this block? Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? I don't want to be in their business. I'm just going to say, I bet. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Mm. Is it worth it? Chloe, mm. you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. No, oh, that's nice. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh, my heart. And again, I ask, what is the better timeline here? I don't know, Max because mind you. so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. I'm sorry, where am I going? Because mind you, I don't know what William's job was, but if Joyce is still at the um, at the two wells flipping up pancakes, unfortunately the way uh, this medical system is so corrupt and so damn expensive, like how many pancakes could she possibly fit, flip to make ends meet? So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Got you. Oh, we're watching in here. I thought we were going to the living room. Uh, here's the DVD. Oh, okay. Good choice. All right. Well, what's in the other drawer? Oh, my God. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Damn. Okay. Well, that was easy. Put the, uh, yep, yep.
Aw, oh, this is nice. Now my question is, I wonder why Max stopped hanging out with Chloe. Was it because Chloe got in an accident? Max was like, yeah, I don't want to come around anymore. Wow, y'all don't talk during movies? Oh, could it be me? <laughs> I'd be in there chatting it up. I mean, that's good for y'all. Love that for y'all. Am I still here? Probably. What position are you in sleeping? Because I see your legs, but your body is over there. What am I looking at? <laughs> Oh, I know your back hurts. That is a crazy position to sleep in. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. Yeah, no. She was ready to talk about it. I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. Oh. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. Mm. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine, morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Hmm. Now. You okay? Okay, Chloe, you scared me a little bit. Um, now, selfishly, I heard morphine and I instantly thought about L.A. Noir when we played that and the way the morphine was taken over the streets. But yes, morphine is used for medical reasons. More free. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, hey William. William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. <laughs> you look exactly the same. William? <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Child everything. Where do we start? Let's talk about Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. Mm. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me? Glad you're here. Um, Max, let's not make it about you, I feel like. Let's just say glad you're here. Girl. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I... Just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. Oof. William, let me tell you. <laughs> I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Do you know that? Let's talk about Joyce. Let's talk about your wife. Is she still at Being the diner? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Um, Rachel Amber, Crazy Weather, Prescott Family? Why are we bringing up these? Weird, okay, let's talk about Rachel Amber, I guess. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Mm. Okay, what about the weather, though? 
What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit. Pardon my French. <laughs> Not type shit. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. William's ahead of his time with the type shit. That's crazy. Okay, Prescott family. Mm -hmm. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Nice. Sounds like you know them well. Okay, straight into the point. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Care room? I'm I was impressed by everything. Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. Mm -hmm. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. <laughs> I've gotta go. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. I mean... I mean... If you knew what I knew, what's your bills looking like? They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. Oof. That's terrible. This country is so nasty. Um, this letter is to notify you that you are in default fault of your payment obligations on your home loan this current account holds the amount of twelve thousand dollars payable by the first oof unless the full amount of twelve thousand dollars is received within 15 days we must begin the foreclosure process oh my god and what day is it today these whales are just the rachel amber is even missing in this reality we don't even know i guess i can't change everything yeah, now what are the chances that Rachel Amber is still missing in Just this reality? Oh no, William, no, you don't mean that. Well, he's going through it. Uh, what did, I'm sorry, what did I come up here for? Oh, morphine. Yes, yes. I'm looking for the for the fiend. Yes, yes, I forgot. Where did she say it was? In the bathroom? Is this Chloe's old room? What'd they do to it? Oh, it's just empty. They probably had to move her downstairs because it would be easier. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, we gonna be in here for real? Damn, what's this letter say? I never heard much about William's brother. Hey, Bill. William, Bill. Got you. Uh, sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up. And I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could send you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Come on. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Oh, man. Oh, this is... I don't know, man. That, uh... How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Girl, okay, where is the morphine? Nothing here. Cabinet? I feel like that would be a good place it's for cool it. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Okay, not in there, not in there. And this one? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Damn, did she say where it was and I wasn't paying attention? She probably did. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Mm, mm, mm. No, I would be nosy and look. I said, and I was like, let me be nosy anyways. I feel like the room is. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Oh, Joyce, I did not know you were home. I'm sorry. Now I have to talk to you. I I'm sorry. Good morning, Max. Let me just oh, you in and the Chloe room. are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. Mm. After the accident. Um, William? I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. William still the same? Is William still the same? I feel like no. After 
Everything that's happened. For better and for worse. But always for the better. Mm. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Ooh! Sounds corny, I know. It doesn't, Joyce. You rule, Joyce. My man, my Shit. man, my man. Things would mm. be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Oh, how you doing, Joyce? How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Mm. David Matz, why would you know the bus driver? Maybe you take the bus, maybe... Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um... Yeah, why, I, I was just... <laughs> curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Aww. And girl, listen, there's a lot that I could talk to you about. I got to deliver this morphine. I'll holler at you back later. To now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. I mean, we are just talking up a storm. Now I can't really look through the room the way that I wanted to. I didn't know you were in here. Okay, I got the drugs, Chloe. I got you. Don't even worry about Finally. it. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. The blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Mm. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. Aww. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Aww. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. I know that's right. I said I know that's right, but I wasn't. <laughs> Chloe, what? The picture, what? Okay. Um. Oh, yes, yes. Photo album. Yes, yes, yes. Like, she'll say stuff, but it's just not really clear. I'm glad I took this photo. Oh, we did. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. We did. Okay. Here you go. Oh, uh, they don't really do photo albums Is like that, that anymore. Because, like, everything's on the phone, but... I like a nostalgic oh little scrapbook. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Hmm. Turn the page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Aw, is there still time? Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Was it five? Literally seems like yesterday. Mm. I wish it was. Me too. This photo, maybe I could- Oh, you're trying to go back and, and, and get back to what you already- mm. Listen, Max. Oh. My respiratory system is failing and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable. Mm -hmm while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. Chloe? What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you 
to be my last memory. Whoa. Do you understand? Whoa. Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Oh, girl. Oh, this is such a tap. Uh, uh, damn, can I think? Accept, refuse. I don't know. A, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end oh, it all. Oh, this is bringing up case I did everything stuff. I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? Oh, yeah, you're asking the wrong person. I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Girl. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. Oh, Chloe, geez. I want I to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. Yeah. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Okay, so my question is, are we going to go back in time and fix stuff? Because if we're going to go back in time and fix things anyways, does this choice matter? Is my question. Life is strange, man. Life is really strange. A part of me just wants to do it. Is that terrible? A part of me low-key wants to do it. But then, like, we're going to go back in time anyways. But, like, temporarily, you won't have to deal with this anymore. I don't know if that's a great. I don't know if I'm any better though because I, I was trying to help Kate. Like, I don't know if this is the same type of situation. Oh. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together forever. I don't know if this is a good choice. I really don't. I. I have no rhyme or reason for why I did what I did. I really don't. I just feel like we're probably going to go back in time and course correct everything anyway. So for the sake of the moment, I probably made a horrible decision. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Oof. Never. But this is, you, this is terrible for Max because she's already been through so much. See you around sooner than you think now my question is you don't think that chloe's parents are going to come in here and see that the ivy uh little thing has been tampered with max i feel like at some point you could go to jail for this right and that's all it takes that doesn't seem safe now what i'm the what yeah, let's fix this. I'm let's, sorry, William. Yeah. Damn, I'm sorry, William. Yeah, that's... Man, that sucks. Okay. Damn. That's all I was saying at the end of the last episode. Like, why Someday did... Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. Why I is this body... I didn't scare you, Max. Why does this, this is a family have to feel some kind of pain? Whatever timeline it is, they're going to feel something. Hello? Hey, honey. Damn. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. What if he came a little late? That's going to affect the... Keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Damn. And no Chloe Damn. in a long tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Mm. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh, not me getting goosebumps. Yikes. And how do you even, yeah, Max, that's tough. Knowing what you know. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Well. Chloe, 
I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. This is... This is heavy. You gon' you gon' damn picture just gonna burn. Damn. Zium. Ah, this is ah. That's just so terrible, but terrible that these were the only timeline options. Mm, now we're back. really didn't I, I didn't that last choice I was talking about it really didn't matter that's what I was saying before why would you put me in that situation to pick anyways oh my god it's so quiet oh Chloe you're alive yes it is whoa, nice whoa, that she could just next. immediately go back to the present day me? instead of having to relive just, those years I'm all just, over I'm again. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> you sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Mm. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Okay, so... Oh, this is like our, um... What is that show? So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Mm. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. True. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Okay, what I was gonna say was, it reminds me of that one I show. I can't but... abuse this level of <sighs> mind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. That one show that I've never seen before, I feel like it's called It's Sunny in Philadelphia, but it has the guy, and he's like in front of that board, and it's like he's doing all the. You know what I'm talking about? Like conspiracy theories? It's probably not conspiracy theories. It'd make more sense if I watched the show, but I reference that meme often. Way too often for me and never see the show before. It's amazing how innocent our drawings were compared to what we're doing now. So, Max basically says she can't keep going back and forth through one of her powers, blase, blase. I feel like so. we're missing a major clue. Keep digging, Chloe. Where are we grabbing this clue? Damn. Is it in this room? This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. It. Haven or hell? Mm. Catchy. Uh, I mean, it's a mess in here. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Hmm. 
All right, I look through all of these. Uh, I mean, Chloe, it's a mess in here, babes. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. He sure did. Damn, once was enough. Oh no, that poor little bird has been trapped in here. Well, I asked. Don't do that because my... Oh God. Well, who locked the bird in there? They've been in there since. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Oh my God, what room is it in? I hear you, but I don't know where you are. Am I losing my mind? Didn't we leave that bird? There you are. What you doing in here, little silly? Scare, scare where? You've been in this house for days and weeks on end and nobody said anything? I should open this window. No, stay there. Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm free you. I'm gonna let you out. You're free now. Well, the other option was either let him in the house or he was going to crash to his death. Okay, get out. Fly. Be free. I don't think I made the wrong choice here. Why would we, why would we leave the bird in here? All right, we're cool. Okay, so David's probably in that room, so I'm not going to go in there. We're missing a major clue, which leads me to believe it's probably something in David's little... Is it a man cave? Is it a bungalow? I'm not really sure what to call it. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. Now I broke up my family. I salute you. Yikes. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. I don't think I broke up your family. I think, you know, there were some things that you were also responsible for in there. Like, I don't think I'm the cause why your family is no longer. Warren. Yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the... What? What? Slow down. I'm out of the loop. Excuse me now. She sounds so hot, so I get why. Okay, Chloe actually texted you. Uh, I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get to go ape with you unless you want to chill with Chloe or we can all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Hmm, facts. Cool. I have to jet. Talk to you later. Hmm. Damn. Wait. Hella messages. Hey, Juliet. Are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me what's going down. Besides everything, I was just curious if you heard of a guy named Frank who lives in the RV around town. You mean a van by the river? I heard that he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just board talk soon. And now she want to be all in my business. Oh, Richard Marsh. Kate's service is next week. Oof. Oof. And what'd you say? You're such a... I thought you might be ready for the Fortex Club, but after the shit you pulled with Jefferson, no effing way. You're such an emo queen that you didn't want anyone going with him to San Francisco. You're too much of a pussy to even to enter your cliche selfies in one dumb contest. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing off, not about saving Kate. I'm going to make sure nobody at Blackwell is fooled by your woe is Max. Act, get ready. Oh, girl. Oh, every, every time. Every time it has something to do with Victoria. Oh, it pisses me off. Ugh. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Oh, he took the car. All right, well, let's be nosy. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Y'all keep talking about this security uh, system petition that I missed in the first episode, please. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. What's Panacea's? What's this? There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Well, I'm gonna have to read this because, okay. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has 
ever understood me the way that you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I always set bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I'm truly sh sorry and ashamed, but there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intend to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead of student a student committed suicide on my watch you kicked me out of my favorite home and now my stepdaughter hates me please let me and we'll never know and we'll never know I again David like I feel like you gonna have to take a little ownership in this he said yes I did lie about the cameras and what of it <laughs> please oh that makes me sad it was so incredible to see William again I wish Chloe could Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Oh. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Dear Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Bess S. Prescott. I mean, everyone is in damn cahoots. Locker? Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Oh, there's something in there. And I don't know how I'm getting in there, but there's something. Uh, uh. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Okay, well, what do we have? Um, What is this? Oh. Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Oh my god, was that the bird that I just let out the window and didn't let back in? So now, and now it's, too, it's way too late to rewind. Excuse me, just one picture, please. Now how am I going to find that bird again and let him take care of his babies? Oh, wow. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. I don't know who's going to take care of these children, but hey. Okay, should I move the plank? Oh, here, move it back. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. I I, damn, I let the mama out. I don't, how am I supposed to find her? Okay, I need something to break a lock. To break a lock. I feel like pliers. That looks like a heavy-duty lock, though. Cardboard box, paper ball. What is this? Sure, yeah. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Okay, just making sure there's nothing else to look at. Okay, crowbar, yep. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, it's in there. It's gotta be juicy. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates. Photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. This is nuts. Damn, you watch Warren get beat up, didn't do nothing? Wow. Isn't this Chloe's truck? Not you up here taking pictures of me. No, this isn't Chloe's truck, is it? I thought Chloe's truck was beat up a little bit more. Why are you keeping lad to the longitude, though? That's Score. It? Back to Chloe now. I feel like, can I rewind? Now I'm a little confused because she made it sound like her rewind is going to run out at some point. Damn, I mean, I could rewind that. <laughs> Not me paranoid about this bird <laughs> being able to take care of her children. I'm so sorry, little bird. Looks like David already booked a room. Not the blot. She's staying down at the blot. Oh, that's tough. I mean, at least he's not at the Motel 6. Good for him, I guess. Call Yo, Chloe. Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Mm -hmm. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, 
Now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. See, this is Chloe's truck. Whose red truck was that?